Hello all. In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to install IBM DB2 11.5.8 on Windows Server 2022. The steps mentioned here will work on Windows 2016, 2019, Windows 2022 as well as on Windows 10. I haven't tested this on Windows 11. Probably they might work, but I haven't tested them. Now, First thing that we need to do is we need to download a DB2 Community Edition from IBM website. It's a free, no cost edition for the developer community to try and learn DB2. So this particular environment, this particular product can be used in non-production environment, not in the production environment. So it's a free, no cost product. You need to have an IBM ID. If you don't have one, create one. You need to have an IBM ID to download the DB2 Community Edition. If use your personal email account or work email account to sign up for the IBM ID. Once you have logged in with, with the IBM ID, download DB2 Community Edition. Once this, the DB2 is downloaded, unzip the software. And once the software is unzipped, use the setup dot under that location. You will find a utility called setup.exe. Use that particular utility to install the DB2. Now that we have installed the DB2, launch db2 command window administrator you will find this under the start menu launch this and create your database using the create database command and once the database is created connect to your database using connect to command i'm going to show you all of this this is just a theory but i'm going to show you everything now that you have created your first database it's time to create a second instance so we'll create by default db2 on Windows, we'll create an instance for you called DB2. That the instance name will be DB2. If you want to go ahead and create another instance, you can create one. So the command to create a new instance would be DB2 I create. So create a new instance. Now that instance is created, switch to the second instance using set DB2 instance is equal to name of the instance that you used. So if I say DB2 I create DBS. So if I say DB2 I create DBS, here you'll say set DB2 instance is equal to DBS. Once the, we have switched to that second instance, start that particular instance using the db2 start. Now you will ask me, I did not start the instance in this case because what happens is like when the db2 installs, the DB, when the db2 installation completes, it creates a default instance called db2 and it's, it's automatically started for you at the end of the installation. So I don't have to start the default instance, but for the instance that I create, those will be not started. So I have to manually start them. Now that the instance is started, go ahead and create the database in the second instance and then connect to this database, the new database in the second instance using connect to statement. We will see all of this in detail. So to install the DB2 software, first download the software, unzip the software. After unzipping, you will find a utility called setup.exe. Run that particular utility as an admin and you should be good. You have to click next, next, next. We are going to see that, but we, it's, it's all about next, next, next. Now that the DB2 software is installed, you can use, you can create the database. To create the database, launch DB2 command window administrator. So launch this particular window. Then you will use the command DB2 create database, name of the database. So DB2 create database, name of the database that you want to create. Verify that the database is created using the DB2 list database directory. And then if the database all looks good, connect to your database, connect to name of your database. This is done on the default instance. Let's go ahead and create another instance. So launch DB2 command window administrator once again. DB2 I create DBS. So DBS becomes the name of your instance. The second instance set DB2 instance is equal to DBS to switch to this instance. So to sit, switch to this instance, you will set this particular environmental variable. DB2 instance is equal to name of the instance. Verify that you are connected using the db2 get instance and you will start that particular instance. Now that you have switched to the second instance, go ahead and create the second database. So we'll say create database second. We'll verify that that particular database is created and we'll connect to that particular database. So all of this is what we are going to see in this particular tutorial. So let's begin with first thing that we need to do is we need to download the IBM db2. So in your browser, in whatever browser, search for IBM db2, you'll find you will find this particular link. Click on this particular link, ibm.com products db2. So click on this particular link. So I'm going to click on that particular link. You need to sign in. So make sure that you, you have an IBM, IBM account. I have already signed in, accept the cookies. And if you scroll down, if you scroll down here, you'll find a explore db2 database. So 
from the first page from the same page so from the google so this is the page on the page if you scroll down you will find explore db2 database here click on that and then here you can see download ibm db2 community edition at no cost download ibm db2 community edition at no cost use this particular link this link is going to take you to the download so it says sign up which i have already done but if you have if you have not signed it up then probably you have to create are you a student i'm not a student so i'll say no how you want to get con contact how, how ibm want to contact you choose one of these option agree the license continue and if all goes good then we are presented with this particular download links again accept all and here choose the microsoft windows so we are going to download this 1.4 gb package so this particular package starts in downloading now i have already downloaded this particular package so i'm going to close this my work on browser is done i am good to close it but let's keep it open and now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the server where we are going to install that particular software so this is where this is the software which is downloaded which is of 1.31 gb so what i'm going to do i'm going to double click on it it says where it needs to unzip it you give a location wherever you want to unzip so i'll say i want to unzip in the same directory called e drive so under the e drive you can find a util, uh, a folder new folder appeared called server underscore dec the dec stands for developer community edition and right now the unzip is happening wait for that to happen once that is done we are going to close this so that's done that's done and now let's go inside and under this you will find dot setup dot exe right click on it run as admin say yes right click on it say again let me repeat you'll find setup.exe right click on it run as admin say yes and then here you'll find this welcome to db2 version 11.5.8 click on this install a product click on this install a product and then db2 version 11.5.8 choose a version so if you want to install the client or any other package scroll down but we don't want that we want to install the main db2 so say let's say install new and then it's going to we it's going to ask us so let's give it a minute so first thing is it will prompt us for the license so click on next give it a minute accept the license definitely you need to accept the license click on next now we have choices typical contact compact or custom if you want to use compact which means minimal typical means based on what ibm best practice says whatever it needs to install custom means if you if you want to change some components and you don't you want to install some components you don't want to install the components you can choose based on this so i'll go with the typical click on next then where you want to store the response file so it says you know install db2 so you have either install just save the response file or install and save the response file i'll go with install and save the response file click on next where is the the db2 server directory the default directory i'm okay with program files if you want to change it you can change it click on next and this is important this is the dash service account the service account that is going to run so it has chosen the account that is logged in so i'm okay with this give the password of the this particular account give the password of this particular account you need to make sure that the password is correct this is the account that we are saying and this particular account is going to run the db2 services as i mentioned it's going to create one default instance called db2 it's going to create a default instance called db2 we don't have a choice to not create it etc etc so click on next and if you want to set up the smtp notifications click s yes. if you don't want uncheck this click on next if you want to enable the operating system security you can enable if you don't want to enable it you can un disable it it's based on your organization standard. i'll uncheck it based on your organization standards you might want to check it and look at the summary and if all looks good if all of this looks good and you are happy with all of these options click on finish which is going to initiate the db2 installation process for you now the installation might take 
from few seconds to few minutes it won't it definitely won't take an hours it won't take hours but it might now remember that the antivirus system installed on this particular operating system might sometimes interfere so it is better idea to disable the antivirus before installing the the db2 component and once the db2 component is installed you can request the antivirus team to enable the db2 component let's wait for this installation to finish give it a minute and looks like that got installed successfully setup is complete looks like the db2 is installed successfully click on next click on finish now it comes with this page if you i'll just close this particular page let's go here and you can see we got ibm db2 here now what we are going to do is if you go to the server manager and click click on tools click on services or you can the other way around is you can search for services dot msc if you search for services and expand this you should be able to see couple of db2 services and the default db2 service is running which means a default instance for you got created the a name of that instance is a db2 and right now it's running and if you see the startup mode for that it is automatic the startup mode for that particular instance is automatic all good now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the start menu under the start menu db2 command window administrator we are going to use this particular link or the start menu item to do our db2 administration work so let's double click on it or click on it and it launches as this now to, to make sure that you guys can see properly i'm going to just make the a little bit this particular font a little bigger so let's keep it at 20 okay so now that you guys can see i hope you guys can see properly let me clear this particular screen and what i'm going to do now i'm going to run a command called db2 get instance which will show us that the current instance is db2 and then there is another command db2 pd dash this particular says that this particular instance is up zero days two minutes one second so yes two minutes before our installation got completed and this particular instance is up since then all good now it's the instance is running we have verified that instance is running we verified using the db2 pd command we also verified using the services.msc all good now it's time to create our database so let's do something let's say db2 list db directory or database directory you can either say database directory or you can say db directory the short for database both are exactly same so you can see the database directory cannot be found on the indicated file system which means that this particular instance does not have any database so now let's create our first database so to create the database we'll say create database whatever name you want to give so i'll say create database test i'm going to create the first database called test now that that this particular command is going to take some time and you see here we don't see any output we do not know whether it's actually creating the database or not so open another command window open another command window and in that particular command window type db2 diag minus f sorry minus f and you can see that if that particular lock is moving so it has the command is right now db2 dictionary views created so if that particular log is moving so something is happening in the background if that log is not moving or it got stuck or if you find that there is an error message then probably that is something and i'm going to close this and you can see create database test statement got completed successfully all good so now let's run the same command that the database directory cannot be found same command let's run the same command and see what happens and we can see that the database test that we created is now is showing that we got one database in our system called test all good so the database is also created now we are going to connect to the database but before connecting what we'll say is db2 connection state get connection state 
we'll find out if we are connected and it says connectable and unconnected so we have no connections to db2 database so I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to say db2 connect to test i'm going to say this and my i got connected looks like i got connected so now if i run the db2 get connection state you can see that instead of unconnected i got i'm connected to a database called test all good so we were able to create the database and we were able to connect to our database all good now what i'm going to do i'm going to now i'm going to do something i'm going to minimize this particular screen i'm going to launch one more command line window you can launch as many as you want but you need to be careful which instance you are into so you need to be careful on that but you can launch as many as command prompt so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a command called db2 eilish this particular command shows what are the instances which are present on my machine and right now it says there is only one instance called db2 so there is only one instance called db2 which is the default instance and we saw that that particular instance is right now running and it is in the automatic uh, the startup mode is automatic i'm going to run another command called db2 i create and I'm, I'm going to just do something this particular font is a bit small for me so i'm going to change this to this yeah now it looks better so i'm going to run db2 i create and name of the instance so db yes and the db2 i create db2 i create means instance create and dbs means name of the instance that looks good db2 i list and now we got two instances the db2 which is the default instance dbs is the second instance db second instance that we just created both of now there are two instances on my machine now let's go to here let's refresh this particular screen and you can see another service has appeared with a dbs but it is not running and it's in the manual mode so see see the difference the default instance is automatically running the new instance that you created is not automatically running now what we can do is like we can change this startup type to automatic so that it start whenever the server is rebooted it starts automatically but for the first time we need to start it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i'm going to switch to that particular instance and how do i switch to that particular instance you will say set you will use the key you will use the environmental variable called db2 instance and you will specify the name of the instance and if and then I'm, you are going to say db2 terminate where you are going to say db2 terminate give a space between db2 and terminate and then what you are going to do is like we are going to verify using db2 get instance which instance you are into so there is a spelling mistake here db2 get instance and you can see that you are now connected to dbs the new instance so the way we did it is like we said set db2 instance is equal to dbs i'm going to close this i'm going to show you one more time so what we, what we are going to do is like i'm going to launch the command window by default when you launch the command window you will always be connected to so let me let me just clear this for you so that you know we have only the command so what i'm going to say db2 get instance i'm going to run this little command and by default we are connected to db2 now if i want to switch to another instance you will say set db2 instance and the name of the instance then you will do db2 terminate and then you will verify using the same command db2 get instance this time we are connected to dbs now that we are connected to the dbs let me clear this particular screen and what we are going to do is we are going to look we are going to see if that service and looks like that service is not running so now if i try to create a database it's going to fail it's going to fail because it's it, that particular instance we have not started so we need to before creating a database dropping the database we need to start the instance so let's start the instance using db2 start so we have the instance started now if i run the if i go back here refresh this and you can see the second instance is also running all good so now i'm going to say db2 create database second so i'm going to say db2 create database second and if in the background this particular instance is getting created so that we are we have we have successfully let's go back to our ppt so we have successfully learned how to create another instance so db2 i create dbs then we switch to that particular instance using set db2 instance then we verify that we are really connected to that instance we started that instance is going to db2 start and we are creating a second database which is what is happening create database second and if all goes fine we should have now one database 
in the in the main instance the db2 instance and another database in the second instance and that looks good and let's connect to this so we'll say connect to name of the database which is second and if all goes good then we are connected to the second database this was the short tutorial on how to install the db2 11.5.8 on windows server 2022 once we installed we also learned how to create a database how to connect to the database we also saw that there is an automatic instance get that gets created as part of the db2 installation then we created a second instance and we created a database into that we also learned how to switch to that particular instance and then we created another database into that instance now before going i'm going to show you how to stop the instance and to stop the instance you will run the command so let's say if you want to stop the instance you will say first make sure that you are not connected to the database so let's say i'm going to say db2 connect reset and now if i run db2 get instance which is the dbs if i run db2 pd dash you can see that it is up zero days two minutes one second if i run two minutes or oh, five seconds and now i'm going to say db2 stop and once the db2 stop is done if i run the db2 pd unable to attach because the instance is down the db2 stop stops the instance and now if i do the, here you can see the dbs is running if i refresh this if i refresh this then you can see it is stopped now how do you stop the the main instance the db2 instance again you will do the same thing so first you will connect reset from any active connections and then you will say db2 stop so now before doing any activity verify which instance you are into make sure that you are into correct instance so we are into the db2 instance and we want to stop it so we'll say db2 stop that looks good refresh this and you can see even that particular instance is also stopped so we stopped both of these instances i hope this particular tutorial was useful in this particular tutorial we learned how to install the ibm db2 11.5.8 on windows server 2022 we learned uh, that this particular setup method will work on windows 2016 2019 as well as 2022 and windows 10 the steps would be very simple we learned how to create an instance we learned how to connect to the database how to create a database how to switch to a new instance i hope this particular tutorial was useful thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial and if you do like the content that i'm uploading if you do like the channel my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get you can get notified of the new videos and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.